What about when you are working with cert signs? Okay, I've got a little hack to remind you how these guys work. So if you'll look here, the inside, the exponent that's inside, or the little number, let's call it, that's inside the cert sign, that goes to the top, right? And the one that's on the outside goes to the bottom because this is not a way we can really work with stuff in cert form. And we're always going to change it into a fraction form instead, except for reasons which will become only obvious in matric. So here's my little hack for it. The number inside goes on top. So I write down inside out, top, bottom. And I remember that the inside goes on top and the one on the outside goes on the bottom. So if I can just remember inside out, top, bottom, then I can remember that the inside goes to the top and the outside goes to the bottom. Okay. So let's do a few really simple ones first of all. Write the following without the root sign. Okay, so that is going to be A, inside goes to the top, and the outside goes to the bottom. For B, we don't have a number here, but it's actually a 2, remember. If there's no uh, root number, then it is a square one, because that is the most common one. So that is just x to the, and when there's nothing here, when there's no exponent, it's 1, right? So that is x to the half. You might remember that from doing these in previous years. Okay, now rewriting it in a third form, just to exercise that muscle and go back. It's going to have a root, obviously, and it's going to be a. And remember that the top one will be inside, and the bottom one will be on the outside. Same goes for this one. There will be a third sign. The base will stay the same. The four is the thing that goes inside, because it was on top. And the three is the actual root that we're going to do. Okay, again, significantly without using a calculator, because you could just type this whole thing in and get the answer, which is fine to test, but it's not fine um, to just write down the answer. You have to show calculation. Okay, so let's have a look. So I'm definitely going to have this whole thing and change it to the power of 3 over 4, because this root sign is really unuseful. So I'm going to have 625. I'm not going to do anything with that just yet. And I'm going to change it out of its third sign to be to the power of 3 inside out over 4. The outside goes to the bottom there. And now I want to change my 625 to have prime bases. There's that thing again. Okay, so that part you're allowed to do on the calculator. Okay, so again, not contradicting myself. You need to do the steps that we don't want you to have to be able to prove you can do. Those can be done in the calculator. So you're going to type in 625, press equals, press the fact button, and you're going to end up with 5 to the 4. You're going to do the same with 81, or you might already know that that is 3 to the 4. Okay. And then that is taken to the power of 3 over 4, which means, of course, you multiply the exponents together on the top and the bottom. Okay, so what does that give me? 4 times 3 over 4, it's 4 over 1, right? So again, the 4s cancel. So that is just 5 to the power of 3. And at the bottom, it's going to be 3. Again, 4 over 1 times 3 over 4 is just 3. So it's 3 to the 3. So I end up with 5 over 3 all to the power of 3. But because they're powers of 3, I need to actually work it out. And again, you can do that on the calculator. So you'll see, all these little steps that we are doing on the calculator is really not the same thing as just typing this answer and getting that one out. Okay, that will give you zero marks completely. For the next question, we've got a bracket. And then the bracket has the power of 2. And then the bracket has the root of 3. And inside here, we've got something really awkward. We've got 3 and 3 eighths. Please be careful with the fraction button here. That is not 3 times 3 over 8. That is 3 and 3 eighths. So you can use your fraction button, your mixed number button, to change it into a common fraction, improper fraction. Um, or you can do it in your head. So 8 times 3 is 24 plus 3 is 27. And then you, the denominator stays the same. So that's 27 over 8. 
x to the 12, y to the negative 6. Now I'm going to change my third sign into a fractional exponent. So it's to the power of 2 over 3. So I've done two steps in one way. Okay. But now it's not too bad because now I'm just going to put everything to the power of 2 thirds. But should I maybe do something first? How about moving the negatives? Why would I do that now? Well, because this whole thing inside the brackets can be made a lot simpler than it is. The 8 is already in the denominator, so I might as well move the y to the negative 6. You don't have to do the steps in this order. I'm just finding it a lot easier to do it that way. So I'm going to have 27x to the 12 over 8, y to the 6. And then that is going to get raised to the power of 2 thirds. How do I do that? Well, 27 and 8 are not in prime base form, so I better get them there first. So 27 is 3 to the 3. And I'm just going to copy and paste quite a bit here so that I can slow myself down and make sure I'm doing what needs to get done. 8 is 2 to the 3. Right, and now when I multiply the exponents by 2 thirds, which Again, you're welcome to do on the calculator. This makes more sense. I'm now going to have 3 to the power of 3 times 2 thirds, okay, which is 2. I'm going to have x to the power of 12 times 2 thirds, which is 8. In fact, I recommend doing this, these little steps on the calculator. I can do 2 thirds times 12 in my head, which means I cannot prove that you can't, okay? But if I was writing a test, I would do it on a calculator because everybody can do silly things to test. Okay, at the bottom, I've got 2 to the power of 3 times 2 thirds, which is also 2. And I've got y to the power of 6 times 2 thirds, which is 4. I'm almost done. Because these are powers of 2, I need to work them out fully. So it's going to be 3 to the 2, which is 9 x to the 8 needs nothing further, and 2 to the 2 is 4, and y to the 4 needs nothing further.